Traditionally, to complete an OAuth flow, you need a browser. So when you want to use OAuth from a mobile app, you would either redirect the user to a browser app or open a web view. Even though the solution is commonly used in today's apps, it brings some problems. For example, you have to deal with HTML in the authentication process, which means a separate user interface has to be created only to serve the authentication. That's why we introduced a hypermedia authentication API in the Curity Identity Server. The API allows you to complete an OAuth flow directly from the mobile app without the need of any intermediary, but still maintaining the same high level of security as with the browser. But the Hypermedia API is not just about dropping the browser from the flow. It separates the control of the authentication and authorization process from the presentation. The server is still responsible for configuration of the authentication flows, but now the client is responsible for displaying steps of the flow. This gives more control over the interface as native components can be used instead of HTML. The same separation also improves the developer experience of your teams, as now views for your app are all developed in one place. They don't have to be implemented as HTML and CSS at the server side. Let's have a look at a quick demo. I have a simple demo app, which enables me to log in with Curity using the API. When I click the login button, the SDK first gets an attestation token from Curity. Only attested and pre-registered applications can communicate with the API. The app follows instructions from the API, and after a while, it shows a list of authentication methods available for the given client. I'll choose Duo, a service which enables secure two-factor authentication options. I get another response from the API, this time a simple form. When I fill in the username, I am presented with a list of my devices registered with Duo and authentication options for these devices. I'll stick with Auto, which in my case should send a push notification to this phone. Perfect. I can now approve or deny the authentication, and after a while, I get an authentication code, which can be exchanged for an access token. The authentication is complete. I've passed the complete auth authorization flow without ever leaving my app or having to open a web view. All done within the app using native components for the user interface. Let's see what happens if I change the authentication settings for this client. Let's say I will now only allow my users to authenticate with their username and password. Thanks to the API being a hypermedia one, I don't have to change anything in my app. When I try to log in again, I am now presented straight away with the username and password form, as this is the only option now available for this client. You can see how the server still controls the authentication flow and the client is responsible for the interface. If you want to learn more about the Hypermedia Authentication API, have a look at the resources page at our website. You can find some articles and demos there. You can also find the documentation for the Android SDK in the Curity Identity Server docs.